All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this was sent into the channel by uh, Finercy. Um, they have a uh, test, um, well, it says multifunctional transistor oscilloscope. So it's got a, 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 a component tester. You can put in transistors and FETs and diodes and stuff, and it tells you what they are. So it's got that built into it. And then it also has an oscilloscope and a signal generator and some other things in it, right? So they, this is the uh, model, this is the model uh, TC4. Now they had a model TC3, which I've reviewed before. You can search my channel for this one, DSO-TC3, and I liked it. Um, I thought it would be a nice uh, beginning uh, device to learn electronics. Like a, I think I mentioned that video, I could teach an electronics course if all the students had one of these. Um, one of the downsides of this one, let me turn it on here. Um, one of the downsides of this one was that the oscilloscope was a bit slow. It's a 500 kilohertz oscilloscope, but it had all the other things and it had a component tester, oscilloscope, a waveform generator, uh, and some other things in it. Okay. And it had the little test socket down here where you put the unknown thing. So, uh, the, uh, way that you connect it up, uh, oscilloscope probes and stuff, or the output of the, uh, of the function generator stuff was up at the top there. So it's a cute little, cute little device. Now this is kind of its big, big brother. Okay. And, uh, so they've upped the game. The oscilloscope is now supposed to be good for 10 megahertz. So this is much more useful. Uh, so let's open it up here. Uh, manual. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, let's just zoom back out here. Here it is. And here is its brethren. So yeah, it's bigger. Um, let me uh, turn it on. And a uh, nicer display, uh, but kind of the same thing, right? You got the menus here for the different, the different things, the oscilloscope. Um, but it has the little socket here. Uh, it's got some extra buttons. It's got these buttons here. The other one didn't. Uh, had OK in menu, so it had mode. I guess it had two. This is like two extra buttons, three extra buttons, because it's got an OK in it. Yeah, I like this layout better, where you have up, up, down, and OK in the middle. It's got the the uh, the. I don't remember what these connectors are called, but it has uh, the oscilloscope in, and. Um, DDS and DSO. Oh, this is the oscilloscope. DSO is the oscilloscope. DDS is the output for the uh, um, waveforms. And then N is just a voltmeter. So 0 to 40 volt, uh, 0 to 40 volt voltmeter. All right. So um, let's see here. What else do we get in the box? Uh, we'll get a package of goodies. Oh, let's see what they give us. All right, uh, typical oscilloscope probe, 10 to 1, 100 megahertz probe. Uh, oops, oops, drop everything here. Oh, here it is. We'll put the uh, put the ground ground lead on our probe. We're now good to go. So it's BNC. So you have to have this adapter. You put the adapter on, and then you put it on the machine. So not a big fan of this because. Um, uh, once you got it on here, you can see kind of the lever arm, and um, it 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 would be easy to break this thing. So you have to be kind of be kind of have to care be careful with it. So take that out. Um, let's see here. This one is just uh, for voltage, or you could use it for the DSO. I mean the uh, uh, direct digital synthesis thing also. So that goes onto those things, and then we get some little clip leads here, which are for the component tester. If you want to bring those out somewhere else, uh, people have seen that before on my machine that I use here. I've, I've hardwired in the, uh, the test lead, so I don't have to fool with them all the, all the time. All right. So that's what you get and a charging, charging cord. It is a USB C chargeable. All right. So let's kind of move all these things out of the way. Let's turn this thing on off. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, can I, does this photograph well? Yeah, it does pretty good. Okay, let's uh, put some parts in it here. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Tool puff. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it did that one good. Uh, let's see here. Here's a here's a strange uh, here's a strange transistor. Let's pop him in with all the legs straight. These are long legs. These are kind of hard to hard for me to manage. There we go. Okay, push the auto button. There we go. Got that one right away. PNP. I like the graphics. Graphics are kind of nice. Uh, let's see here if I can't find something else on my bench. Uh, here's something. What is this? Let's put him in. Okay. So, I mean, it's doing the thing. I don't know if I have a... Uh... I was looking for an FET laying around. Here's a box full of some things. Let's put in a uh, let's put in a FET and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, look at the diagram. Very nice diagram. And then the last thing I'm going to put in is a uh, let's see here. Let's put in a uh, JFET. See if it knows. See if it knows how to test JFETs. Oh, there we go. Very nice. I like it. Okay, a little bit slow, but it does get the job done. Uh, and we didn't test the capacitor. We got to we got to at least put one capacitor in there and see uh, see how it does on that. What is this? This is a uh, I think it's a one. I think it's one microfarad. Yeah, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.9 microfarads. Okay, so let's uh, go back out. That's transistor tester. Um, we got the oscilloscope. I'm sure everybody wants to see the oscilloscope go. What most important thing. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We'll get our oscilloscope probe hooked up. There we go. All right, so I have uh, connected uh, the the uh, signal generator output, and I've connected that with the uh, probe. Um, so it's outputting a sine wave, and it seems to be doing a good job. Let's see if we can hit the yeah up down arrows, make it smaller, make it bigger, and left and right, make it smaller, make it bigger. Very nice. So uh, that looks pretty good. Um, and I hit auto, it tries to figure things out. Yeah, and there we go, I did it. So, pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's a little bit, a little bit wiggly. A little bit, a little bit triggering is a little bit, you know, these are 8-bit oscilloscopes or 10 bits at most, probably 8 bits. And, uh, they're just a little funky. But, let's go ahead and measure its 10 megahertz. Oh, I've got to put it on, putting on some other generator here that I can ramp up the frequency. All right, so I'm going to be using my uh, uh, waveform generator out of the uh, key site, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Take a look at it over here. This is a one megahertz uh, sine wave, one one volt amplitude. So let's uh, let's go up in the frequency here. I'll kind of look to see where it starts to roll off. And it's getting a little bit wiggly. 
They usually have kind of some aliasing when they get up a ways before they actually roll off. They start to get a little bit wiggly. Let's zoom back out here. Okay, that's as fast as it goes. 50 nanoseconds per division. Let's see if it can go faster here. There, it's starting to roll off. There, it's starting to roll off. Where are we? We're at 11 megahertz, 11.9 megahertz. So yeah, that's that's not too bad. You can see that it's starting to pulse and stuff. Let's put let's put it right here exactly at 10 megahertz. 10 megahertz. And yeah, you can see that it's it's bouncing around a little bit, and that's just kind of triggering and digitization and stuff on a little oscilloscope. But anyway, it is fast now. It is a 10 megahertz oscilloscope, which is super cool. Let's put it on a square wave. Um, and square wave just looks like a, it looks exactly like a sine wave. <laughs> so let's put it back to one megahertz. And let's see here. Yeah, so there's a one megahertz and we'll do a five megahertz. And it's starting to roll off, roll off now. So it's certainly, you know, sine waves, yes, it does hit uh, 10 megahertz square waves and stuff. Um, you, you do see the 10 megahertz roll off, so it's doing exactly what it should be doing. So it's definitely a 10, 10 megahertz oscilloscope. Um, let's see here, let's kind of look at its, uh, sensitivity here. Uh, we can go down to oh, 10 millivolts per division. Let's go down to 20 millivolts. 20 millivolts. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty nice. It's got pretty good sensitivity then. Uh, 20 millivolts peak to peak. So it's two divisions. So yeah, nice. A lot of times these things are not really great for um, low stuff. They'll have like a one volt lowest scale and stuff, but this one, this one looks good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and test the uh, output and we'll take a look at that. Uh, let's see here, we want to go to signal source and uh, looks like a giga, uh, one megahertz, 50% duty cycle. Amplitude three volts. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that. All right, uh, so yes, it is outputting a sine wave, uh, but it is fuzzy. We are getting a lot of digitization, so it's probably only an 8-bit uh, step DDS, di direct digital synthesis, so you're getting these little steps here on this super, super fast oscilloscope. Uh, let's go ahead and change our oscilloscope to be, uh, let's do uh, 20 megahertz. Yeah, there you go, 20 megahertz. It's, it's a little bit better to see what's going on here. We've got those little steps. Can you see those? Yeah, we'll get these little stair steps. So it is doing what it's supposed to do. And let's see what else we can do here. How do we mode? No, that's not it. Uh, let's see here. Signal source. Oh, I know I should read the manual. Tell me. Go ahead and tell me. Uh, let's see here. Frequency. Oh, duty cycle. That's off and on. Okay, that works. And ah, uh, there we go. Square wave. All right, let's go back up. So there you go. Some half roundy ones. The other ways. Stair step. So oh, that's nice. That's a good waveform. On the other way, exponential, up and down. Uh, that's a fun little one. Trigger on him. That's kind of, I like that one. And sync pulse. Yeah, all kinds of, all kinds of built-in stuff. So I like it. All right, so this is what we're looking at. Um, so let's go ahead and read the manual. I think I've showed enough of the product. Let's read the specs. All right, uh, 48 mega samples per second, 10 megahertz, one meg input, AC-DC probes one or 10, uh, 10 millivolt to 10 volts per division, uh, uh, five nanos 50 nanoseconds to 20 seconds, all the triggering modes, triggering levels, waveform freeze, automatic measurements for 
uh, a bunch of a bunch of things. Um, do firmware upgrades. Huh. That's the oscilloscope uh, settings. I don't, I don't see the specifications for the uh, signal. Oh, here we go. Signal generator. Uh, signal generator. 13 waveforms, we saw those. 0 to 50 kilohertz, so that's what that one does. Uh, then component testers will do transistors, diodes, zener diodes up to 4.5 volts. Not, not great there. Uh, SCRs, capacitors, resistors, and stuff. Anyway, there you go. Um, it, uh, it's nice. I don't like those connectors, but they are what they are. Um, it is bigger than it used to be, but it has a nicer display than it used to do. So I think the big thing here is if you just need a component tester, you know, you don't need to buy this thing, but to have a component tester plus uh, a, a voltmeter, an oscilloscope, a function generator, it's kind of a, you know, a lab bench in, in your pocket. So it is that's what, that way. And like I said, again, if I had Every student had one of these. I could teach it a nice electronics to, uh, electronics course. So, uh, anyway, that's a long video. This is the Fenersi uh, TC4, the DSO TC4. Yeah, it's very nice.